The Albright Knox Public Art Initiative began in 2014. Uh, it is a public-private partnership uh, between Erie County and the city of Buffalo and the Albright Knox. It's unique in terms of what museums are producing uh, in the nation. Uh, we're uh, a novel program in the sense that we, we do partner with a lot of different entities to bring public artwork uh, to people throughout the region. Public art's important because people really rally around it. They, they, get, uh, they get behind it, they get excited about it, they want to share it with people. It's a way that they can share it in a way that you might not be able to in a museum or in a university. Contemporary artwork can kind of feel, I think, adversarial to some people. They can uh, feel like maybe it's too smart for them or they don't know what's going on. But with public art, there's oftentimes a sense of acceptance and a sense of wonder. And if we can use that to help people uh, look at artwork wherever they may be, I think that that's, that's, a, that's a good thing. I think you know, where we're standing right now at the NFTA Allen Street Station is a great example. It's a very colorful intervention into an otherwise maybe not so colorful space and it's a great indicator of all the kinds of culture you might see here. I think obviously Shark Girl has become a destination for people at Canal Side. Right now we have an incredible installation of Robert Indiana's work up at the Outer Harbor at Wilkinson Point. Uh, there are murals all throughout the region and increasingly we're placing more and more sculpture and we're thrilled to be able to kind of uh, create work all throughout the region. So I'd say it's a great idea to go see it all if you can.